Hey Siri, play White Noise. Now playing White Noise by the Interrupters. Shit, hey Siri, start the video. Greetings Internet, it's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from product reviews to news to how-tos just like this one. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. <gasps> okay. So a few weeks back, we saw the release of iOS 13.2.1 and along with it came some new features for our HomePod back there. And it got me to thinking, well, you know, I haven't really featured the HomePod much here on the channel. And I came to the conclusion that that was because, well, prior to this latest release, the HomePod wasn't really involved much in HomeKit. Sure, we use the Home app to set it up and configure it. We could use it as a home hub for outside access and automations, and we could use it to control accessories and scenes. But other than that, it didn't really play in the whole HomeKit setup. But all of that has changed now with iOS 13.2.1. So I thought we'd start a little mini series here on, well, HomePod how to. So some of the different things we can do with HomePod and some of its features. And I thought we'd kick things off with one of the newer features and that is ambient sounds. So before we could use Apple Music to sort of pull different ambient sounds from different collections and albums and things. But now we have an officially curated set of ambient sounds that Apple has put together. And you know, it's nice to have this little feature. Now we still have access to all of our old ambient sounds through Apple Music, but it's nice to have these officially curated sounds. So what we'll do in this video is we'll look at some of the commands we can use with the ambient sounds. And then at the end, we'll have a listen to all of the ones that I've found so far. Well, that about does it for the intro. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. So if you're not so concerned about which ambient sound plays, you can say something like, Hey Siri, play sounds. Here's white noise from ambient sounds. Hey Siri, stop. Now we're all pretty aware that Siri has its shortcomings when it comes to recognizing commands sometimes. So in order to avoid confusion with other tracks that might be available on Apple Music, it might be necessary to say something like, Hey Siri, Play Ocean from Ambient Sounds. Now playing Ocean from Ambient Sounds. I don't know about you, but sometimes I have difficulties remembering names of things and such. So thankfully with Ambient Sounds, we don't have to use the exact Ambient Sound title. We can say something like, Hey Siri, play Babbling Brook. Hear Stream from Ambient Sounds. Or, Hey Siri, play a downpour. Here's Rain from Ambient Sounds. Now let's have a listen at all of the available ambient sounds that I've found so far. Now playing Fireplace from Ambient Sounds. Now playing Forest from Ambient Sounds. Here's Night from Ambient Sounds. Now playing Ocean from Ambient Sounds. Here's Rain from Ambient Sounds. Here's Stream from Ambient Sounds. Here's White Noise from Ambient Sounds. So there you are folks, Ambient Sounds in iOS 13.2.1. So, you know, honestly, it's not something I think I'm going to use every day personally. Um, if I need some sort of ambient sound, say, for example, if I'm trying to go to sleep, 
Well, I'll just turn on an air purifier or a humidifier or something of that nature. But it is nice to have these sounds if that's something that you're into. These also work really well with another new feature that came to HomePod with this latest release, and that is with sleep timers. You know, one of the downsides to the ambient sounds is that we don't really have an official list of all of the different available ambient sounds. I went through and I tried to, you know, look them up on my phone. We don't actually have access to them on any other Apple Music account except for the HomePod, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, and so I tried to find them all. What I was able to do is just kind of have Siri play the album. So I just asked Siri to go ahead and play the sounds at random like we saw in the video, but then I just went to next track, next track, next track, and that's how I was able to kind of round out all the ones that I was able to find. So there could be more, and if you found any of them, let us know in the comments down below. Also below this video, in the description box, you'll find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at MyHomeKitHome, as well as the blog over at MyHomeKitHome.com. As always, if you found the video useful, you can let us know by hitting that like button. And if you want more HomeKit related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. Well, that's a wrap on the first installment of HomePod How To. I do thank you for watching and stay tuned for more HomePod related content coming in the very near future. But until then, this has been Dustin with my HomePod.